today we will discuss about status for a firm let me try to tell you one business example suppose you have created sales order delivery post goods issue and billing okay so what status profile will talks about for example you created sales order okay so generally it will be there starting in open status suppose partial quantity delivered or some quantity delivered so then it will be like in progress okay that you can able to see in a document flow suppose if delivery done it is completed it will go to the complete and the fully complete okay it will go different statuses but what i mean to say is so at which status we would like to control for example from order to delivery is you are creating okay in your company you might find a role called order processor okay order processor so when order is processed processed for example so you have a if you take business example you have a distributor you have a like a wholesalers you have a retailers in our company so distributor unlimited quantity is there okay but wholesaler it is allowed up to like you know per sales order they are allowing up to like you know 200 pieces only whereas retailer it is restricted less than or equal to 50 only is okay whatever the case if you take so your order processor in your company it is a role like you know you, some companies they will call it as uh, customer care when you work in support project you will come to know like you know order processor there is something called shipment shipment team for handling like you know shipment process okay so like that you know certain things will be there so when you process order this person cannot able to do the delivery or else uh, after shipment you are you are having bill processor okay he is only able to create all these we will call it as a roles okay this is one role this is another role this is another role okay so like in this case how would you restrict your system so these validations are there or something is there quantity level that is different but whereas so this person order process is like uh, some john one employee is working uh, some like you know okay camble another employee is working like you know these two are order processor so there is one person called sam he is only doing delivery process this person if they can able to do order only he can able to process this role oriented person sam cannot able to do the order processor or something like that at the same time you have a central team okay central fa team some people are there they are only eligible for process your billing team this is how it happens so like uh, when you would like to control these roles he only he, he can able to access the role like like what is that VA zero one, VA zero two, and VA zero three. Only he can able to do it. But VL zero one is is done by your shipment team. Okay, so shipment some other team will be there. So in the similar way, billing processor they can able to do only VF zero one. So within the billing only, like you know, manager can able to uh, approve. for your complaint processing like you know credit memo and debit memo this is the basic difference between your real time and you know your actual uh, way of working okay so when you see this so how would i control so like you know if order is uh, finished then open for delivery then i would like to control at shipment shipment level how can i able to control okay if shipment person cannot able to do this this is allowed for only your billing processor how you can able to control this one is called this statuses at a various statuses level like if the order is finished it's open for delivery if the 
delivery is created it is open for billing certain cases we have to control for that control there is one team called basis and security and authorization team they will create a security object like you know with this object they have to control the order processor can able to do this one on the shipment can able to do this one on the billing can able to like that you know this is a, say, otc is one process like cash sales is rush order is there like in everywhere you can able to use it that how you are going to control at your uh, sap sd level the concept called status profile okay so let's try to see let's try to create a status profile and uh, what are all the different things we have within the status profile that we will try to uh, discuss today okay so like uh, we cannot able to create authorization object because we don't have basis team but how manually it will work we can able to see this is how but if you have a dependency it's always integration you will have a certainly you have a dependency so in the similar way you can able to create it for your material mm level purchase order level or else your finance level production order level um if you talk about pp module and your planned order level everywhere you will have a certain end to end cycle will be there Cert certain team will be accessible to certain authorizations only so this will be controlled called concept called status profile so there is one transaction called bs02 okay with this transaction you can able to create a status profile so we have two kind of statuses will be there generally at the status and item status item level also you can able to create so like you know suppose if you are entering normal materials and premium materials normal materials you don't have you might not have any control but premium goods it will be costly you will have a control okay so like uh, <clears throat> someone need to be approved or else you know, quantity will be restricted certain things will be there okay let's see how the status profile work in real time okay let me share the uh, sap system here with restrictions only we can able to learn this concept but in actual live system you can able to see all those things as i said that for example if i create a sales order okay let me show you i'm just taking this material press enter if you click here if you come here just beside to order data there is one tab called status so now if you see overall status of your order is open so if item is rejected it will be rejected so it's not a delivered okay credit check credit management functionality is there whether the customer is allowed for your credit limit or not it will talk about that so overall it is not blocked so header data i entered complete all item data it is complete it is showing so if you come here if you if you go down below here nothing is available okay here nothing is available to control the status when you assign a status profile so then obviously it will be active let's try to check item level same thing so if you click here so for example one item is open second item is open third item is open fourth item is delivered so if you see the overall uh, order status it is being processed only even uh, last item is delivered also we can able to do the partial quantity or full quantity when everything is complete then only uh, the complete status will be changed at your at that level let's come to the status <clears throat> okay here you if you can see there is something called object status okay something is coming up like this okay here if you define the statuses will come so if it is released it will come like this so let's try to understand this how it works now let's go to there is a transaction called bs02 okay if you see here this is called status profile so what are all the different status profile you can able to see like you know this is a common transaction even mm people or pp people and everyone can use can able to use this one so <clears throat> see this is in customer uh, service okay this is a real estate management will be there okay someone like mining production order you can see so all these are the different you are creating this object and within that you are trying to define so what is the first step okay you will create one status profile 
and you will give the meaningful text okay let's click the new entry okay so <clears throat> what is your status profile for example otc cn cn t tl otc control okay so order to cash roll control maybe like you know order to cash status profile okay you can give your name whatever you want it so you just give the english so what you have given you have given how many digits some eight digits maximum alpha numerics it will allow numbers letters whatever you take okay let's click then continue so otc this one we have defined okay so let's save this okay now you define this now you select this and go to object types object type means at which level you would like to control okay if you see see purchase order is there for mm guys so in the similar way let me try to check sales order means it starts with uh, s right let's try to check see sales document header level you can able to define item level also you can define. let me show you at header level i'm checking this one that means the starters profile it is going to control header level statuses let's press enter let's save this okay once you have done this okay sorry go back okay so if i click here it will show the statuses let me try to define a statuses like you know three so status i'm just creating ord create okay so like uh, you can take like your order processor okay i can keep it so dlv next is like you know your ship shipment processor okay like that means your delivery processor or shipment processor okay that means he can able to do it so now third one i am taking the status here it is the how many status numbers we have so like you know it can be like you know n number of statuses will be there generally in real time also so some so 5 to 10 will be there not more than that okay so generally it will be 2 or 3 or something like that in each status profile if we talk about okay then billing processor okay let's press enter okay what it is specify the lowest highest status numbers okay one second yeah it is asking like you know what is the lowest status what is the highest status so highest status is in our case it is 3 let's try to keep it 3 okay so second status delivery i want to do highest status is this one okay so third one is like 3 so if you click here initiate means if i say that you know first status it should be shown by default then i'll click this one so by default this is the one okay so if any long text exists you have to click this one okay let's press enter so now if you see here position like you know which one should be displayed in order that order it talks about what is the priority so i'll just make it uh, this itself is priority and position and all these things it automatically takes i am not going to disturb that one so if you see here there is something called authorization code okay authorization key sorry authorization key if you see someone has defined something like a scm001 okay standard one this one like something is there so now i am not going to do assign anything this authorization code actually it is given by your security team basis on security team. generally both modules nearby integrated 
so this authorization code they will give like you know within that code they will try to control some users okay so like uh, if you if you go back to our excel for for order processing role we have john and cambly john and cambly user ids will be they will try to control other than that no one is going to can access like that you know they can group and they can control with authorization code okay certain times uh, like you know certain custom objects also will be there that is different okay let's save this okay so how system will understand like you know it should be stopped at order we tell the order we tell the what is lowest what is highest and everything you have done so now it's time to control see it can be anything in real time like a triple zero one a triple zero two like you know you can whatever you want to do it for an example for understandability i have given this an example so if you click this one okay see business transaction business transaction means like at which transaction level you'd like to control change level or display level or create level okay here if you see different statuses will be there no influence allowed warning forbidden no action set to delete let's click this first okay we are talking about order right so order see create sales document no influence means it won't have any impact what we are doing like you know this team order processing team it will be allowed okay for sales order whereas i am going to forbid like you know delivery i am not going to allow them these are the two things see after delivery only pga come right i don't require to set this one but uh, still if you want uh, some kind of thing you can able to control whatever you want but what i am doing here here my creates when i am creating sales document level so delivery previously it is allowed now i don't want to allow automatically by order processor okay this is what i did it so let's save this this status so now let's come to the second status second status come to the create so here what happens delivery allowed i'm just asking to pj allowed okay so if you click this one in this transaction what is allowed billing document allowed okay so this is i'm just trying to show you if you can see a couple of statuses you can able to understand at shipping level i'll just try to put a restriction so this is shipping shipping level sorry goods issue allowed and your billing document forbidden let's keep like this let's try to check how standard system behaves okay now this is what you did it so in real time they will give authorization object within that they will control the users how many users you have okay we try to understand okay now let's try to create a order now so before creating that which object you are controlling sales header sales header is what vivo v8 if you go so then uh, we have created yesterday one document type let's come here let's try to assign our status profile so what we have created see order to cache status profile this is the place where see whenever it required we'll come back to the same object for discussion now we came back to the sales order after a uh, 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 after some time okay so let's save this okay so we have done what is the control so now let's try to create order now so let's come here va01 press enter okay let's come to the quantity to quantity i am giving now let's go to the header and see so previously you didn't find that uh, status object now see the button came automatically okay as of now system status 
by default status orc here order creation it is coming it's in release status let's go to object see orc here and your shipment and third one is billing okay so what we can do like uh, we'll just save this now let's try to create a bill sorry delivery so when i try to create a delivery if you press enter see it won't be allowed user status what it is saying the status check status object indicate the processor create delivery cannot be processed because of it forbids forbids means it won't allow you now what we have to do if you go to va02 press enter okay let's come here let's come to the status so let's go to the object status so now let's try to change this so let's go back okay if you don't do this status profile setup properly it will give error okay let's save this so now press enter let me show you one more time we come here now what is this now current status it is showing ship it's in release status so what it is saying oral status is open if you see document flow it is open delivery not at created if you go to the object see we have changed it manually but when real time user is approved automatically it will change it to that status actually that's that with authorization object we can able to control you see the object number and this status provider now it is now in second status he assume let's go to the delivery now now press enter see it is allowing okay so let's go and do the picking and let's do the pca that's fine now let's go and try to do the vf01 okay so delivery not processed go to edit go to the log okay gg1 cannot be noise with billing type so oh, this is something different error now let's go to vl02n press enter the oral picking status billing status should be a this is copy control error now press enter I go to the header. Okay. Let me try to do the copy control. So we go V eight. Let's try to fix this one. G G one. For G G one. So let's try to keep. Triple G one. Let's see this. Let's say this. Now go to VL zero one n. If copy control is there, it will allow us. So let's go to VL zero two n. Okay. Let's come here. VL zero one n. Let's try to create the bill. Okay. So I think copy control still it is missing. Let's go to VT VT FL. First, try to fix this one. So let's go to the change mode. So let's go to the position. So LF standard. So R. Billing type is F two, not R. This one. Let's copy as. So LF is. G G 
one or else let me try to check pl zero three m Uh, let's come here. So what we have created, this is GG1. Let's go and try to, so let me try to go to the screen for copy control, GG1. This is triple G1, okay, that's the center. Already exists from GG1 to this one. or gg1 to triple g1 okay no problem so let's try to do the bill so let's go to the log so because of item category we are getting this error okay Oh, Vivo V8. Let's try to fix this one. So delivery type. Delivery type is ZG1. Okay. VT FL go again. So let's go to GG1 plus triple G1. Okay, let's press enter. Go to item level. So you have a tan. I'll just copy it as a Y, Y, Y. Okay, standard data. Let's press enter. Okay. So then it will allow we have zero one. Still it is not processed. Let's try to check the log. Item Y by one cannot be in a voice to it. Okay. Vivo V seven So delivery related billing, this is fine. Try to check. So the document type is GG1. Okay. Let's click here. So we have assigned this one. Probably it is not able to. Okay. So let me try to create another cycle. 
Let me try to change the status. Let me keep here. Now let's try to click the bill. Let's go to the log. See, now you see create billing is not allowed. So because of your just status, ship actually. Okay. So we resolve that error. Now it is going to see, see create billing. If you see create billing document, status ships for bits actually. Now let's go to VA02, press enter, go to the header, now go to the status, automatically it will go to the next status. Now manually we are doing then this is ship initially order. Now let's try to do the bill now. Okay, let's save this. Now let's try to create a bill. See? This is how you have to control your status profile. Now go to VA03. Now you can able to see the document flow like this. This is how. So for copy control, we got uh, one issue because of item category, we have this fixed and we try to, we have created a new cycle. So, but, uh, but previous one also we can fix it. Like, you know, you have to cancel the delivery and, you know, reverse the PZ and all those things. Why should we require that? I have done like this. Okay. This is all about your status profile. Let's go here. Let me show you now the current status is built. Now you see oral status, it is completed since it is built. So now if you go and see object status, so it is got finished actually. So let's come and check item level. What is the status? See, it is completed. It's a single item, right? It is completed. So it is released. So in the similar way, so we haven't done any configuration at item level. So like if you want to, you can able to configure and you can try this. So even within the sales order only, if you want, if you want further statuses also, you can able to add it. So for example, I'll just say that, okay, this is our uh, order to cash, right? So here maybe I can able to add one more status like that uh, for or RJ, order rejected, okay? So maybe I can make it like this one as four. Highest is four. I'll just changing to the four. Okay. I can do like this. So if I save like this. Okay. If I click this, everything will be controlled here. See with warning message, you would like to allow this one. Allowed means allowed. If there is no object, if you don't want to influence anything, then this one. Forbidden means reject. Set means you can able to set it and you can able to change it. Set to complete, you can able to do it. Okay. So like uh, certain times uh, because of system issues, it won't allow your support level, you will get some issues. Okay. It's not the right context to discuss. Okay. If you see this, um, so like, uh, let me come here. Assembly good issue. Maybe I can I can make it uh, my order level only. 
uh, order level only where is the my sales order level i can able to do the per bidder okay now let's see if i try to create an order now quickly okay by default your create status will be there okay order here so if i have added new status if i want i can able to reject here on let's say this okay so now let's go and check the what exactly happened the status if you go to the header see everything is so if you go to the status see status is rejected okay so object status if you want you can able to reject and if you want you can able to change to other status as also okay like that you know authorization control will be there if something is rejected you can able to trigger email or something like that you can play with the system okay so let's uh, try to go to the change mode okay now in this status let's try to do the delivery now so i think our status is not saved okay ds02 if you go let's click oh let's come here so what is this for oh, sales document i kept it so i just need to keep it this one not order forbidden so it's allowed maybe i can say that you know delivery forbidden for this status so now let's go back press enter go to header go to status so let's try to do object let's do this come back and save now vl 01m see it won't allow say order rejected status it is showing this is how you can able to do the status profile control okay that's it